Welcome to Optinex Tech. In this video, we are going to build a versatile, reusable input component in React that can be used across various forms in your projects. Before we dive in, if you missed our last video of dynamic button component, be sure to check that out for a comprehensive guide on enhancing your React projects. Now, let's get started. First, we will create input folder inside components folder. Then, create two files inside that, input.js for structure of input component and input.css for CSS classes. Moving to input.js, first we import our custom CSS file, input.css which will contain all styles specific to this component. Now, we define the input component which accepts several props, type to specify input type, placeholder for placeholder text, value for the input value, on change to handle input changes, error message to display errors, custom styles for custom CSS, and icon to display an icon. Inside the component, we return a div element with the class name of input wrapper. This serves as a container for our input field and any associated icons or error messages. We also apply any custom styles passed in via the custom styles prop. If the icon prop is provided, we display a span element with a class name of input icon. This span contains the icon and is positioned inside the input wrapper. Next, we render the input element itself. The type, placeholder, value, and on change props are passed directly to the input element, allowing it to behave dynamically based on the prop values. We also conditionally apply the input error class if an error message is present, which will visually indicate an error by changing the border color. If an error message is provided, we display a span element with a class name of error text. This span contains the error message and is styled to stand out, helping the user identify any issues. Finally, we export the input component so it can be used in other parts of our application. Now in index.css file, we begin by defining the input wrapper class. This class is the container for our input field, ensuring it has consistent padding and spacing. Next, we style the input field class. This class applies basic styles to the input element, including width to 100%, padding for a comfortable typing area, border, and a slight border radius for smooth edges. When the input field has an error, the input error class changes the border color to red, providing a visual indication that something needs attention. The input icon class is used to style the icon inside the input field. We position the icon absolutely to align it perfectly with the input text, add some padding for spacing, and set pointer events to none. Finally, we style the error text class. This class is responsible for displaying the error message below the input field, using a smaller font size and red color to make it stand out and margin from top to 4 pixels. First, we import the reusable input component from its file path to use it within our app. We create a piece of state called email, using the useState hook, to store the value of the input field. We also define another state variable, email error, which will store any validation errors related to the email input. Then, create div element with class name input flex. Inside that, we include the input component. We pass several props, type email to specify the input type, placeholder to display hint text, value to bind the email state to the input, on change to handle input changes, error message to display validation errors and custom styles to style the input width. Next, we define the handle email change function, which updates the email state with the current input value and sets an error message if the email format is invalid. Then, we create the validate email function, which checks if the input matches the email format using a regular expression and returns a boolean value. Then create input flex class in app.css which has display flex and justify content center. Now, let's add some use case. We have previously defined functions for button click actions. 
For handle submit button function, show alert with email entered by user, and for handle cancel button function, clear the email input field. Now, our development is complete. Let's test output in the browser. If we add some random value in input, it shows error invalid email with red border color. After entering proper email, we can click on submit button which shows alert having email. If we click cancel button, email input backs to its original state. And that's a wrap. You now have fully customized reusable input component that you can use in any React project. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for upcoming components.